Anyway, here we go again with one of my custom one hand videos. I showed this a few weeks ago. Somebody had given this to me. Um, I did a little research on it and I found out this was made in uh, 2006. It's a uh, Rick Henderson, some guy in Pennsylvania. He hand makes these. This is real stag. Let me show you the blade. Let me get it out. Okay, it's, it's um, it's 11 inches overall, and it's pretty clean. It's got one little speck right there. I got to try and work that out because it is a, a 1085 carbon. This is real uh, white tail stag. There's a, some sort of a maker's mark with a number. But this is what he does to all of his. See that there? Ken Richardson, I believe it is. Yeah, Ken Richardson slash 06. That's where he puts his maker mark. But it's a nice... Uh, a nice piece. Of course, it ain't full tang. Probably comes down to here. It's epoxied in. I mean, but you can't be crazy with this anyway. This is a camp knife, battle knife, slash knife, slash, slash. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but get a load of that bone, though. Isn't that pretty? Anyway... I was giving this away to another YouTuber because he loves Bowie knives. And um, I emailed him and he never got back to me. So I'm not going to be waiting around. I, I go to give something away to be nice and I'm going to wait around. That ain't going to happen. Nice handmade leather case. These here are the tips of the uh, antlers, the tops. What you do with these guys is you roll them around that way. And when you put the knife in, you cross it over. And you twist those. And that's what locks the knife in. But, yeah, he never got back to me. And uh, that's a shame because, you know what, this little sucker grew on me. And I don't think I'm going to get rid of it no more. It's got a six inch handle and 11 and a quarter inch blade. I just leave it under the seat of my car. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want it to rust. Who knows what I'm gonna do with it. Really not big on, um, I'm really not too big on these, uh, the, the Bowie knives and stuff. Uh, five inch, quarter inch thick, five inch long uh, survival knife I would like. Like my MSK-1, I like that. And then I have one of them uh, uh, Cold Steel Tantos. Uh, that I like. Those like those two would be my go-to if I had to go camping or, you know, hit the woods or something like that. Something like this you really don't want to bring out in the woods and try slicing shit up with it. You don't want to do that. It's a very thin stock, too. This guy only uses eighth of an inch stock. That's why I say it's not something you could really pound on. It literally is a, a Bowie knife for uh, for uh, self defense, uh, a little bit of camp stuff, uh, but mainly that's it. Or just hang it on your wall and let it look pretty. Anyway, let me end this here. I'm out here trying to enjoy the lake. Oh my God, I'm getting old. I feel it. <sighs> All right, people, y'all take care now.